Welcome to my video blog. Well, I just felt the need to share this because this might be of help to those who are still thinking on what character they want to be this coming Halloween. I just came from a cosplay competition and I was one of the contestants. I was contestant number one in Big's Diner Shocktober 2018 competition. So look at this. So Shocktober 16 because it's their 16th year of organizing this event. And you know what? Um, I felt like I have achieved something big today because I was one of the scariest contestants not to mention that there were some kids who actually cried because they were so scared of me, <laughs> especially when I was already performing on stage. Um, I was one of the scariest contestants, but with the cheapest costume, actually. So I know a lot of you out there would want to become Valak this Halloween, but I think one problem is how to do the Valak makeup. So I had a vlog about this. You could just watch my Valak makeup tutorial. And the second problem is the costume. So I don't want to spend so much with my costume. You know, I just want to join this cosplay competition just to add up to my portfolio as a cosplayer because it will be my first time to join a horror competition. I just came up with an improvised costume and since I will be on stage so the costume I must be you know somehow fixed um, that even though I would turn around walk on stage they will not be able to see certain flaws in my costume and they will not somehow realize that my costume are just made of old shirts that are folded tied and being held by lots and lots of safety pins. <laughs> so, here it is. Okay, a long black skirt. Okay, so I use this as a skirt, <clears throat> definitely. And then, my upper part is this one. So, a long sleeve turtleneck black shirt. Okay. And to add up to the trick, so I have here another black shirt. See this? It has a design. Okay, Bambi. Okay, but what I did is have the reverse side of it because I place it on top so that it will really look like a tailored nun costume okay and definitely I folded it play some safety pins on it my veil well this is kind of tricky this is my cardigan my black cardigan so see this lives here so what I did is I sew Look at this. Look at the stitches. So I sew the sides of the sleeves. And then the sleeves, I placed safety pins here to put them together and fold them like this so that they won't appear at my back. So let me show you how I did this. So this so they are together okay and then I folded it like this and place safety pin on it okay and this will do the trick and so that it will be on place I tried it uh, with a safety pin but it doesn't look good so I glued Velcro on it so that it can stick on the white thing that I will have to place on my head. 
So as for the white thing that I'm going to place on my head, so I did the same. I place the Velcro here. So let me wear this and show you the trick. So there you go. I hope you're able to have some ideas if you're planning to be Valak this Halloween. So this is how you can make use of your old shirts in making a non-costume. I will not do my Valak makeup anymore because I already washed my face. So kindly just look at my pictures taken during the event a while ago as well as the video of my actual performance on stage as Valak. So before you go, please hit like if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel. And by the way, you can watch my Valak makeup tutorial and at the same time, you can also look at the very first improvised nun costume that I made. So, bye-bye! Happy Halloween, everyone!